What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one's just going to be kind of a follow-up to the last video where we showed how to do a jet change in a standard carburetor. In this video we're going to be installing a Stage 1 kit from Go Power Sports. The cart we'll be using is just a little clipper cart with a Predator 212 that the governor has not been removed, not bypassed, but messed with to give a little more RPM. It has a 30 series torque converter on it using 420 chain. There's a 10 tooth sprocket there and a 60 tooth sprocket on the axle. We'll be doing a comparison before and after with a drag race. We're going to do a drag race with it stock right now. Then we're going to install the stage one kit and do the exact same drag race again and see how much time we've taken off or gained for that matter, we'll see. But first we are going to need to change the tires because well, that is not typically what you want to see on a tire. You can see the tube on that one. So I just barely got back from Harbor Freight, picked up two new wheels. These are not very good wheels, but they'll last for now. So let's just go ahead and install those right now. Yeah, this tire is just destroyed. Look at that. The fibers coming out. It feels like pushing a tube, not a tire. That's gone. Just gone. Y'all don't give me crap for being really big in comparison to this cart. I don't fit in it very well. This is just the one I have. This is the one we're going to be using right now. Alright, I'm going to go up to a spot, a starting line way up there. This line right here is the finish line, so we'll see how long it takes me to cross that line. So now we're going to bring the cart in and put the stage one kit on the Predator and then do the same run and see how long that takes. Step one is going to be removing these two bolts right here on your factory airbox. These are 10 millimeter nuts. Once you have those removed, that little tube pops off. And then the whole airbox assembly just pulls off. You really don't need that, so you can just take that off. Right here is our stock carburetor. Inside the carburetor, there's the jet in the bowl. Watch my last video to learn how to properly change the jet in here. But in my case, I have a separate carburetor that I've already changed the jet in, so I just need to take this one out. Just gotta move that little clip that is on the fuel line. And you can push the fuel line up the screwdriver almost until it comes off, and then take some pliers and pinch the hose right here so that no fuel comes off and then you can pull it the rest of the way out and then take a screwdriver and put it in there so that no fuel leaks out. Now you can take your carburetor and the gasket in front of it comes off. And you can pull this off and then you just remove the little linkage right here for the governor and then the carburetor just pulls off. Then I'm going to take my new carburetor, the one that I've made the stage one carburetor with the new jet in it, and I'm going to put it back where the old one was. Put your linkage for the governor back in the hole that it came out of. Push your carburetor to the back and then take your pliers, pinch off the line again, and take off your screwdriver. Then put the fuel line back where it's supposed to go. Just like that. 
Now you can take your gasket and you can slide it back over. And then you can take your specialty Go Power Sports bracket here and then this piece will come off. You just install it. It's got a little bolt right there. And if this is the front of it, you just kind of lift it up a little bit. And then you slide this over like that. And then this little piece, this little bracket, you can push down so it rests over the choke lever. This is there so that your choke lever doesn't pop off. With that little bracket on there, this piece, you take the two 10 millimeter nuts and you start to thread them carefully over the studs again. Once those are on you there, you can just take something like an impact wrench and just get those down. All right, once you have your bracket on there nice and tight, just take your finger, brush out all the little shavings that may arise. Just make sure you don't get those inside your engine. And you can take your performance air filter and you can make sure you have the uh, hose clamp on here. You can put that over the top there. Push it on there to about right there. And then you can tighten down the hose clamp, just not too tight. Just tight enough to hold it. Now you can take your little red sock it comes with and put that over the air filter. Cool power sports. With your stock air box here, just the hose that's attached to the top of the gas tank, just pull it off. This can just go in the trash. Next, you can take a 13 millimeter wrench and loosen the nuts holding the muffler on. If you do this carefully, you should be able to save the gasket. Yes. Now you can take your header pipe and you can put it right there, with the same nuts, and just tighten the thing down. With the full stage one kit installed, we can go ahead and turn it on and give it a test fire. Turn the fuel on. Oh my gosh, it is so loud.
We got a 469 on that drag race with the half stage one Predator. I'm just gonna say it's stage one even with that muffler there. Oh well, that is pretty big of a difference. Um, just on that little course there, just from that thing to the finish line right in front of my house is not very far. So that much of a difference is pretty significant. Honestly, for 75 bucks, you can't go wrong with this kit. It really wakes up a Predator 212. Really makes it make a lot more power. You get so much better performance out of it. The top speed of this car, I forgot to mention, is about 35 to 40 miles an hour, which is sketchy fast on this little tiny clipper cart. The seat isn't even mounted. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something about the Stage 1 Predator kit or how to install it. If you learned something and or enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, maybe even subscribe to support this channel and see more videos like this. Anyway, thanks guys, and see you next time. One eternity later.